welcome back to my channel. I just got a few requests to do a bit of a bus tour and the only sort of tour I have on the bus on the outside for, in, for instance is old. So I thought I would update and so that's what this video is about. So I'll take you along inside the bus. It's just a short five window and I have quite a bit of stuff in there but I'll try to explain as much detail as I can and I'll take you along. Okay, so just inside the doors, on the left, I actually have um, this cabinet that holds my water and all my tools are right there. This base actually uh, is used for one of those minivan seats. It clips into this base. So I actually built a little bit of a cabinet around it to hold all that stuff and then if I ever need to move it out and put a seat back in I can because the seat's just stored in our garage. On top is where I have my cooler. It works okay. Uh, not my favorite. Doesn't keep ice forever obviously. Um, I'm not sure it's the best one out there um, but it does the trick. And then I've just got a little hook for like rain gear and my spray skirt for my uh, kayak is hanging here too. On this side it looks a little messy. <laughs> uh, I just keep a lot of stuff that's easily accessible here. So um, a multi-tool, a bear horn, a throw rope for my kayak, bear spray, first aid kit. There's a couple knives here. Um, this is for my diesel heater. This is a lock I use to lock the bus. A chalk bag, a headlamp, another knife flashlight, scissors, and then a fire blanket and some cleaning spray. So it's just like all stuff that I would kind of reach for. And then behind there, I just have this blanket over top, but there's like a climbing rope in there and then uh, a fire extinguisher and a bunch of tools, hatchet, uh, shovel, things like that. So it's really uh, kind of a, a throwing zone for me. <laughs> Um, just a little decoration, another, a few more hooks for like hats and things. And then up here is a little library that I have, which is really handy. So I just have some books, a little Santa carving my mom did, and then just some like, sometimes I find things when I'm out on hikes and stuff. So I'll put them up there along with a few little decorations. Um, in here, I just store some... Um, sage and things like that, candles and things. Uh, then when you come back, I have a curtain. It's doubled up, two different curtains, and I just slide it across when I'm going to bed at night. Another hook for some jackets and a day pack. Um, obviously, if I have a passenger, I don't keep those there. Um, this seat also unhooks and comes out. So I've been thinking about building maybe a cabinet here around that base and um, putting it all the way to the ceiling with a door and being able to remove it if I ever needed to. Um, Cause I kind of want to hide some stuff in here. It kind of looks a little, a little chaotic for me right now. Um, of course then is my kitchen. It's made out of a dresser that I got for about 25 bucks. I just originally had a sink under where that chopping block is. And I found that it was kind of small and I didn't really use it. So I just covered the hole. I took the sink out, covered the hole with a chopping block and actually works really good. These are just little door handles on screws and I just put a hole through the top and it goes right into the door. So it keeps them shut. And I think I've gone through this before, but this is where I keep my stove. It's actually really nice because I set it it fits right here and just above because I put a little shelf up I just got like a little tin tray from dollar store and I wrapped it around the shelf so it doesn't get hot um, so it works really good it all fits and I can do all my chopping there so dishes and more dishes uh, up top I just keep some various food items and Kleenex and some cleaning um, wipes that I use for my hands and for um, cleaning up the counter and stuff. And then all my curtains are kind of cut just in sections and then I just roll them up and use those little binder clips to keep them up. I have a couple of things here with some teas and just decorative and I use those knives a lot so I just stick them there. Those are little lights 
and then I have all my spices that I use a lot just at the top. Uh, my mom made this, so it's nice and handy there. So when I go to bed, I can hang like a sweater that I've been wearing on the hook. And then in these drawers is food. Uh, underneath is another drawer that just kind of easily just slides out and it's got various things. And also way under here is where I keep propane bottles. So there's my propane bottles if I need them and a collapsible bucket and some toilet paper. This area used to be the same as that side, so it had drawers. So I took the drawers out and I just covered with this. And so I have some canned food, pots and pans, cutting boards, and all my um, large spoons and spatulas. And then again on hooks there, I have oven mitts. And just down here, I have my drone and I have some larger books that don't fit in the bookshelf up top. Moving around under the bed, I try not to keep too much weight um, past this point because this this is where the tires are, right along here. So anything past that, it gets too heavy for the bus, so I don't want to keep too much weight back here. So it's just a life jacket, um, a couple chairs, some dry bags. There's a propane stove under there, a couple blankets, and then um, my shower's over on that side. Moving on to the couch. I just keep this little floating piece of wood here. It actually works really good because if I, I sit here and then I can put my coffee and food up there and it doesn't fall over. Um, this back actually is two pieces of foam that are kind of almost cut all the way through and they fold out into one flat piece that actually covers this space. So this slides out and it can become a big, huge bed. Um, just a little storage thing. This is my bed that I used to have all the way to the back, but I found that I didn't need all that space, so I cut it in half. I built a little tiny privacy wall um, for the bathroom, which is on the other side, around there. Up top, this is my shower curtain hookup. So the bed comes apart, I just lift this piece off. There's a big basin under there, and there's a shower curtain in it, and then there's a, a USB-powered uh, shower pump so I just have to hook it up fill the a bucket with warm soapy water and hook the shower curtain all the way around and then I can have a shower and actually the curtain can hang outside one of the bus windows to dry off really fast so that works super well so this is my couch and then again there's the cooler and the front door um, that's my solar and my diesel heater hookup uh, the wires you can see coming in and then I have some lights kind of messily strung right there. Uh, so the bed, I actually have my carbon monoxide detector, smoke detector there, a light and that really awesome fan, that USB fan is so amazing. Another hook that I just hang my hat and my um, coffee mug from. Going back, I. I have my big hiking backpack back here. It's empty, so I just hung it on one of those hooks. Down below, I have a crash pad for bouldering. Some little shelves up there that I don't really use much for. And then those ones I don't use much. Um, and again, in the corner. So I'm going to go around the back and I'll show you inside from the back end. I just realized I forgot to show you what's under the couch. So really quick, super messy, but... This is all my hiking gear. So I've got a couple sleeping bags, um, my my stove, which is like a jet boil, but it's a cheaper version. It works amazing. I've got a, a, a cup there and then um, some sleeping pads, a massive first aid kit, vegan nurse. I like to be prepared. Behind there is actually a spare heater. So it's a Mr. Buddy propane heater. And then on this side is my diesel heater. There's a battery back here too. Um, this is just a bag of some, some things, but I try to keep that. And there's, um, I've got an impact drill back there um, and also a, a regular drill so that I can change my tire. Torque wrenches and everything that I need to change my tire, breaker bars under there. And then with my tool kit, I also have jumper cables 
sitting there too. So my toolkit there I found really handy. Um, I can just pop it open. I don't even have to take it out. I just pop it open and get whatever I need out of there. So that's a quick view of the couch. This does pull over and then this is the piece that um, extends out to make the couch come all the way out to the kitchen into a bed. So just to show you really quick, the bus did not have a spare. Obviously being a school bus, they usually just come out and change a tire for you. So I had a local welder build a mount for me, come across and I bought another uh, fifth tire with a new rim and I got it put on there. And then he put this big bar out and actually just hooks in there with a pin and a cotter pin. I also have a diesel jerry can that I attached to the back. So that's full of 20 liters of diesel. And then that's my ladder going up to the roof so I can mount, I have two kayak mounts up there. So I can put those up, but I'll show you the roof in a minute. So this is the other side of my bed. So I have my bathroom right here, which I just cover in a blanket. I'm hoping to make something nicer for that. Um, just like a, something that I can go right over top of it. Um, but it's just a little portable Camco, I think it's Camco, Camco toilet. And then I have a little garbage can. I keep my trekking poles, my fire stick and my broom back here. And those are just little baskets holding like toilet paper and stuff. Again, this crash pad, I actually pull it out and I open it up and it makes a seat right here, which is kind of nice. So I can sit in the back and look at the back. Um, under here, that's where I keep my clothes and that's where I keep my laundry on the left there. Um, so that just covers up. So that's the view from the very back. Okay, let's go on the roof. So it's a bit windy up here, but as you can see, I've got two handles here. I've got some hooks mounted on the deck so that I can actually affix a tent up here. Um, there's some recovery boards. That's my sea kayak. My solar panels are up front. And then I have another set of J hooks for um, a spare kayak that we usually keep at home. So that's the roof deck. It's kind of nice to sit up here too. So I'll take you back inside. So that's the tour of my bus. I hope I didn't miss anything. I tried to get as much as I could in. Um, usually I like to do a video once a week. So weekends are my time to go out and explore, but this weekend I'm on call. So I have to stay really close to home and actually um, be in my office working some of the hours of that time. So I'm not able to go camping this weekend, but I thought I would share with you a tour of this bus. It's always changing. Like I said, I think I've changed the bed about six times. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the, um, comment box below and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for stopping by my channel. Really appreciate it. I think I'm at 140 subscribers now, so I can't thank you guys enough. It's really a lot of fun for me to come out and do this. So hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.